What's going on guys? Got the Midland Arms backpack. 12 gauge shotgun out here again today doing a little shooting with it. You might notice something a little bit different about mine in comparison to yours. Uh, this is by large request. A lot of people were requesting this one. Um, I have mounted single or I have mounted red dots on my other single shots before. So a lot of guys were asking me, hey, can you do that to the Midland and kind of build the Midland into a survival shotgun as well? Um, you're looking at it, here it is. Yes, I can. Uh, Midland, for some reason, I get a lot of questions about them because I repped them at SHOT Show one time. Um, but this never really hasn't yet come to uh, what it was meant to be. There were supposed to be survival kits that you can store inside of the buttstock, which I have created something in there I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. There were supposed to be adaptable barrels and stuff like that, but for some reason that just never came about. Um, I don't work for Midland, so everybody that asks me, I don't know exactly what's going on there. I just have one of their shotguns now. So currently, as of 2020, during the apocalypse, there are no adaptable barrels just yet. Well, this is where GunAdapters.com comes in. And I'm gonna show you with this build, with these eight inch rifled adapters, and you can use their shorter ones as well, but I just happen to have the eight inch ones today. I have a red dot here provided by Axion Optics. This is their MD RS1 little red dot. This thing I really like because it comes with scope covers. Perfect. I don't have to worry about that stupid little rubber bikini anymore. Uh, so I got that mounted on there, sighted in for 22 LR. I have a nine millimeter adapter stuffed in there today. You are probably wondering by now how I mounted this red dot, which we will go over here in just a second, because there's a couple of things to go over in this build. If you're wondering about this little leather pouch on here, this is a custom meant for a CZ 527 magazine, which I adapted to this little shotgun. This is a custom made, and I believe he's a YouTuber as well. I'm gonna have his link down there in the description box. If you're looking for one of these, what I have in the back there is these little mini Altoid cans. And this one has lithium grease in it for lubing up the, uh, the inserts that you put in. It makes it a lot easier to take in and out. Um, I can fill these little things full of fire tinder or whatever I want to do and put them in here. And I can actually fit one inside of the stock as well. Also inside of here, I have, of course, 22 LR. Now I'm going to give you a real big hint uh, at things to come here. But inside of this one, I have 22 short. Now I don't have a 22 short adapter big old wink but i'm going to talk to a couple people and see what if i can make a couple things happen because you can store a lot more 22 short inside of your survival rifle survival shotgun we'll get to that in some other video but for now let's focus on a couple of things that i've done here uh, again i have the gunadapters.com uh, 12 gauge to 9 millimeter rifled pathfinder series adapter in there i got you set in for a picture in picture Let's just go ahead and take a couple shots in here. Again, this is going off of the, uh, again, there's no adaptable barrels, and this is the best you can do for this little shotgun for right now. So let's see how my little survival shotgun is panning out. Um, I just have some hodgepodge random gold. Now my gold is kind of dingy. It's been laying around in my bag for a while, but uh, got some 9 millimeter stuffed into there. And we'll go ahead and get the caps off, turn the red dot on. Got you in a picture in picture on that circle, circle steel plate out there. And let's just go ahead and take a couple shots. Nice. So, so far, this little, uh, this little shotgun really hasn't been shot much uh, as of late. So being able to <laughs> start a new project for me, um, I was taking some shots off camera just to get this sighted in, it reminded me just how much fun it is shooting just a single shot and having like a little custom build like this is even more fun not bad i'll take one more shot and then i'm going to switch to my uh, 22 lr adapter by the way uh, this video is actually sponsored largely in part by gunadapters.com with this build uh, i have their link down there in the description box down below with our coupon code if you're looking to purchase one of these and do a little build just like that. But I'm gonna get into the components or the stock and everything here in just a second after this shot. I'm at 35 yards, if you're wondering. So that was the, again, the Pathfinder series, 12 gauge to nine millimeter by gunadapters.com. Um, let's just go ahead and go over, let's see if we're clear. 
course. This is what I really like about this shotgun. That. Look at that. You can stick this whole thing in a bag. Um, having an optic on there is obviously a bonus, huge bonus. Uh, I'm just going to show you how the uh, adapter fits in here into the back. I had to do some modifying to it. With this, uh, with this Midland, it's, it's a must to have a sling on here if you're going to be accessing the, uh, the back door a lot. Oh, here comes the Grand Thumb comment section. <laughs> so you basically twist off this uh, little sling stud here. So once you get it so far out, you have access to the back end here. And it basically has these two holes that you can see there. And you can see even deep inside of the middle of that, we'll get some close-ups. Um, I had to modify that just a little bit. I'm only running one spacer on this thing, and I have a hollow tube in there. So I can take this 22LR adapter or whatever caliber you want to put in there, and I just put that inside of that center hole there where I modified it just a little bit to allow it to sink into this portion a little more. Getting my mic tangled up here. So anyway, it just goes into the bottom just like that. And you can rock the door in. Now this is a snug fit on mine. I think I might need to drop a screw down on that leather attachment piece. Again, this is made for a different firearm. But you can see now I have an eight inch rifled adapter stuffed into here. And I can also fit one of these little Altoids cans in there on top of that just perfectly. So now I have 22 LR ammo or 22 short uh, stuffed into there and a 22 LR adapter or whatever else you want to put in there. So again, going back from, you know, not sure what Midland did, but the uh, little survival kits and stuff like that aren't available or aren't being made at all. So uh, this is just some ideas on how to, I don't know, customize it yourself. So as for the red dot, uh, the red dot is very simple. You just take this lower stud off of here, take the fore end off, and I'll have a link to this uh, little... It's called a shotgun light mount, um, and it was on Amazon for 10 bucks. You need this one in particular to clear the forearm stud where this bolts to the barrel. Uh, very, very particular about that. You have to have that because a lot of the different styles that they sell won't fit on or you'll have trouble getting them onto the barrel itself. I simply wedged uh, this little <laughs> mount all the way down as far as I could to clear. You can see that little flapper piece needs to clear that. You can't have it all the way down to that. Once I got about close as I could right there, I simply screwed this thing down. That's it. And put the red dot on there and just kind of lined up the Picatinny top part with the front sight. Really easy. Unfortunately, with these um, little shotgun light mounts, they tend to drop off the map for a while. They are rotated out in different styles and different designs. So you just simply have to type in shotgun light mount and you'll come across something that looks like this one go with that style, go with that mount. You'll see that there's other different ones. This is the one you need. Unfortunately, in my particular case, you can't use the side uh, rails that are on here. Not a big deal for me. Uh, what I primarily wanted this dot for is uh, just shoot my subcaliber adapters because this turns the sit basically into a single shot 9mm or a sing single shot 22 LR. And it does it so very accurately as well. Um, I did talk to Axion. Uh, one of their reps and asking about this dot if it is shotgun recoil proof they stated it was we will be testing that in another video but not in today's video um, simply because i didn't bring any shotgun rounds uh we'll just go ahead and just take a few more shots here with this again this gun adapters this is their 22 lr one and man wouldn't it be nice if they had a 22 short <laughs> uh i'm just going to use some random ammo that i have here I believe it's a Gila something or other, 40 grain. Let's just take a few shots on that steel target again. Oh man, this is so relaxing. I'm not even going to put the buttstock on for right now. Uh, turn my dot back on. Let's see here. So I actually sighted the dot in for the 22 LR. And when I did so, it grouped really well. Uh, I'm just sitting and shooting off offhand right now so um let's see here let's take just take a couple more shots here and end with a couple of talking points about this one more on the steel there. nice 
Nice. Not bad at all. All right, just out of curiosity, since we were talking about 22 short, the problem with using 22 short inside of these little uh, adapters or any firearm in general is these you have to pull out manually by hand. Um, if you shoot at mostly any 22 LR barrel chamber rifle uh, firearm, will shoot 22 short. Okay, so basically this is for information purposes. I should put that on there for anybody out there. Uh, this is for informational purposes only, but typically most firearms that are 22 LR can shoot 22 short. Problem with that is, is that it is shorter and it creates a lead ring inside of there. So after shooting so many rounds of 22 short, you start it gets kind of harder to put regular 22 LR back into there because of that ring that has formed. The, the uh, adapter or the barrel or the chamber of the firearm needs to be cleaned out before you can start doing that again. But just out of curiosity, let's just go ahead and take some shots on the steel with this CCI Mini Mag 22 short. <laughs> the sound this shotgun makes <laughs> whenever it shoots uh, with this adapter in it is dook. Uh, but hey, look, I hit it. That's uh, a eight inch steel target out there. Let's just take a few more shots until it kind of maybe starts to give problems or something. This is sighted in for 22 LR. So if, if you guys don't know about 22 short, they're actually almost just as devastating as 22 LR. <laughs> so no problem uh, hitting the steel target. Um, 22 short is an older squirrel round from back in the day that was used religiously and very successfully. 22 short firearms are typically fairly accurate, dedicated 22 short firearms. So it'd be kind of cool to have a 22 short firearm, but simply they're just not made that much anymore. In fact, almost probably not at all. So 22 short ammo is still on the shelves for those older firearms or for people that just want to shove it down their 22 LR firearm. <laughs> and you can see I can easily use 22 short and hit what I'm aiming at. Uh, it's not bad at all. So I've done, I've shot through three of those 22 shorts. I'm going to try to stick one of these 22 LRs in here. So I felt just a little bit of a, some, some pressure or tension going into there. That's kind of, that's lining the walls where the uh, case of the 22 LR typically sits. So it, it, I don't think it's because it becomes dangerous. I just think it's along the, ch the uh, chamber where the shell sits. It does, I don't think it adds any pressure at all to the, uh, to the chamber. But again, this is for informational purposes only. There it is, guys. Again, by popular demand, this is my little Midland Arms survival build. Nowhere near done yet, but I just thought you guys wanted to follow along, get a lot, a lot of guys asking how to mount a red dot onto their Midland Arms. Um, that's it, it's really simple, very simple. And we'll be testing the shotgun rounds through this mount with this red dot on this firearm in another video. I was just extremely unprepared today on today's range visit. So there it is, guys, the Midland Arms backpack modified by ZRUS with a nice little optic on there by Axion Optics. I want to thank them for sending that one over. If you guys are interested, I'll have that one linked in the description box as well if you want to get a good look at it. So far, highly recommend it. I really do like it. I don't have to keep track of scope covers anymore. They just stay right on there. Excellent. Again, this video is sponsored largely in part by gunadapters.com. I'll have their link in the description box down below with a coupon code if you're looking to purchase or buy any of their products. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you on the next video.